So because of my previous post, a lot of people are asking me what happens when you purposefully self unalive. So nothing accidental, but deliberate. So what I'm going to tell you, I learned when I was dead. And so it's up to you whether you believe me or not. So when you self unalive, you don't go anywhere, okay? So you leave your body, but you're still here. And you will stay here until the last person that you're unaliving influence or affected until they pass away. You can see us, you see everything as if you were still in your body and you still keep your human emotions, um, but you can't do anything. You can't influence them. But you do see other, you can see others unalivers. Um, and, and you become a type of what you hear in many, many cultures as an earthbound spirit. There are different ways to help those people cross over, um, depending on the culture and the spirituality or religion that you follow. I spoke about this one time before, a couple of years ago, and I was approached by a, um, I guess you would call it a secular Jewish scholar, academic type. And they wanted to talk to me privately about it. And what I was talking about already existed and was written down in some of the ancient Judaic text. But there's a little bit more in the Judaic text. So, <clears throat> for instance, if that person who self-terminated affected a lot of people, they can be stuck here for thousands of years. And remember I said they still have human emotions or whatever. Anyway, they go insane. And they will try to force themselves inside of a living person so that they can feel again. And these are what the Jewish call dibbics.